Just so you know, folks, as Sarah just said, we can't fit all the tenants who are being evicted in front of the Christmas tree because there's too many. That says it all. We are here today because there's an epidemic of evictions happening in San Francisco. This past March, while I was in the hospital recovering from a fractured foot, my building at 460 Noe Street was sold to new owners. I have lived in my home in the Mission almost almost 32 years ago. Now they're using Ellis Act against me. Since 2011, two years ago, Ellis evictions have more than tripled. Since last year, they've more than doubled. Soon afterwards, they and their lawyer began a campaign to get me to accept the buyout offer to move out. Several times threatening to invoke the Ellis Act by going out of the rental business and evicting all the units if I did not accept such an offer. And I refuse to move because I have nowhere else to go. And as someone who's disabled, most of my money goes to the rent. By the time I pay my rent, I'm barely making it to buy food and things that I needed to survive. And that is not including the ones that don't get filed at the rent board, not including the threats and the buyouts, which are even many, many more. When I refused, they did just that, and I've since received an eviction notice. I went to severe, severe harassment that it almost cost me my life. I had a stroke and I end up in the hospital. So that's thousands of San Franciscans, mostly long-term tenants, seniors are all being kicked out of their homes so that wealthy, wealthy people can buy them as condominium type units. So I may well be forced out of the city and the neighborhood that I love and where I've lived most of my adult life. The evictions are motivated by greed. Landlord and speculators wanting to make a ton of dough selling units as tenancies in common, TICs. And if that is the case, I will also no longer have access to some of the best doctors equipped to deal with all my AIDS-related health problems. The supervisor of the Castro has introduced legislation to allow up to 2,000 TICs to bypass our lottery process and condo convert. That means, that means more evictions, folks. That means more incentive for landlords and speculators to evict more tenants like these folks. Let me tell you about Scott Wiener. We, Where is he? Me and this guy on the wheelchair in front of a city commissioner of status of women. We wanted to talk to him about my situation and his situation. You know what that man did? He turned his back on us. Do you want this man to continue to be our board supervisor and turn no. your back no. on you? No. So let's send back a message to everybody in this city. Happy holidays. We're not going away. We're staying to fight for our homes to fight for our neighborhoods, to fight for our city. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.